Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to optimize your SEO on your Divi website with Rank Math. All right, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so the first thing we need to do is to install our plugin. So I'm gonna come over here to plugins, click on add new. So we're gonna search for our plugin and here it is. I'm gonna go ahead and install it and you can see how popular it is here. It's five star and it's been installed on almost a million websites. All right, so let's go ahead and install. So I'm gonna click on install now and then we're going to activate it. Excellent. So now that our plugin has been activated, it also comes with a setup wizard. So we can always come over here to the setup wizard. So we can choose uh, which way we want to install it. So I'm just gonna go easy and then start wizard. Okay, so through here, it's asking us what our website is about. So I'll just put in personal blog, but there are also other options here that you can choose from. So if it's a small business site, you can set it up as a small business website. Okay, so next we can upload our logos. I don't have a logo to upload right now, so I'm gonna leave that. And we also have our social media share image. I'm not gonna upload that now, so I am going to save and continue. Okay, so the next step now is to connect uh, rank math with our Google account. So again, I'm just going to miss this, but there's a lot of benefits on why you may want to do this. So you can see here, you can verify the site ownership, track page and keyword rankings and so on. So I would highly recommend that you connect uh, rank math with your Google account. All right, so I'm going to skip this as well. So now it's telling us my site is ready. So I'm just going to say return to dashboard. So first of all, we are going to take a look at our modules. So these are all the modules that can that work with Rank Math. So you can activate the ones you need. But uh, in my case here, I just uh, normally go with uh, what has been uh, selected here by default. So we want our analytics. We also want a link counter. And then over here, we also need our schema, SEO analysis, sitemap. And if you are running a website which has WooCommerce, I also highly recommend that you activate WooCommerce over here. All right, great. So that's all we need to do here. So next, let us take a look at our global settings. So I'm just going to come over here to general. So here we can take a look at our links. So our links here open in a new tab. That is fine. We'll just leave that as it is. And Webmaster Tools, so this is where you can connect your Google account or your Google web, Webmaster's uh, information over here. So right now, I don't have any of that, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. Next, let's take a look at our titles and uh, meta. So over here, there's quite a lot to go through, but just remember that uh, the defaults here work really well as well. So you can see my separator here. It's just showing how my title is going to show. And um, let's move on to the next item. And this is local SEO. Now, this would work really well if you are running a company. So if yours is just a blog, you might as well just leave that as it is. So next, let's take a look here at our homepage. So this is where you can set your homepage title. So if you click here on this drop down, you can see uh, how you may want to have it here. But if you want, you can just type it in here. That should be fine. Okay. So that is my homepage title. So you can also go ahead and add your uh, meta description and also a thumbnail for Facebook. Now, this information here is important because this is uh, how the information looks when people search on um, Google. So once you're done, you can hit save changes. So that's your home page all updated. Okay, so now that we have the, the basic settings all done, uh, let us open a page now and see how this integration works with Divi. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on all pages. Now I have a page which I just created quickly using Divi. So let's edit this page with Divi. So what you're going to notice here is on the bottom here, we now have this brand new icon. This is the integration. So we don't have to use a module for this. So this is a deep integration. So now I can click on this icon and we have now this pop-up. So if you take a look here, this is uh, the page title. So right now I have eight out of a hundred. So I do need to do a lot of work here to, to get my score really up. On the general tab here, you can just click on edit and this is where you can go in now and add your titles. You can add your permalink and so on. So my permalink right now is fine. And uh, let's go ahead now and add our title. So my title here is So you can see here as I'm typing, 
this indicator here is growing. So this is an indicator to show how well you're doing. So if you have the, uh, the paid version, you will be able to see uh, other suggestions here from Google itself. Anyway, so this is my uh, information and that's my description. So you can see here my description here. I've done a fantastic job, which is brilliant. My permalink is fine as well. We also have uh, views here. So if you want to view this in um, mobile view, this is what it would look like. So this will be a search result in Google. Okay, so there we go. Now, we also have these little tabs that you can go in and also add more information. Now, next, let's take a look here at social. So what you could also do here on social is you can add an image, and this is the size here. So this would show up in social as well. So this is our title and description. This is just taking all the information from our general tab over here, which is brilliant. So now that I have all this information done, just gonna close out of here. So here you can make this a pillar content. And what I really like about Rank Math is over here, it tells you what you need to optimize. So for example, here I have six errors. So it's saying add focus keyword to your SEO title. So what you do is come over here and add our focus keyword. So now you can see that this has been bolded. So this is what uh, our focus keyword is here. And uh, now that I've added my focus keyword, you can see I have a check mark here and that is really cool. So here it says focus keyword not found in your SEO meta description. So that means my uh, description here needs to have the focus keyword. So let's go ahead and add it. So in the description here, I'm just gonna type in. So now that I've added my focus keyword in my meta description, you can now see I have a check mark. So what you wanna do is to continue going through all of this until you have all your check marks. And now this is an indicator to show you that you've done really well on your optimization. Now let's also take a look and see what we also have here on these other tabs. So here in the social tab, as I mentioned, you can go in here and add all your information for social and then over here as well. In fact, I need to close out of here. All right, so this is the skimmer. Now to get more of these, you need to have the pro version. So for now, you can only get the article. So this is where you can specify this, you know, for the article. Now, if you don't, if you're not sure what the schema is, uh, this is uh, what really shows up. You know, sometimes when you search on Google, you see like a review and it shows the stars. That's like a schema. Okay, so there are several uh, there are several uh, schemas that that can show up. So uh, so far for this free version, we only have the article. So you can add your headline, description here, the keywords, and then you can specify if it's a blog post, news article, or just the article. All right. So all this time I was using Rank Math for a page. So let me show you how you can use this for a blog post. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to open this with um, with my builder. And you, again, you can see on the bottom here that we have this icon here for Rank Math. So it works pretty much the same. And as you can see, this is a blog post. We can add our comments over here. So if I click here now on uh, Rank Math, again, it shows us how all basically, so it shows us all the features that I just went through when I was uh, doing the demo of how it works on the page. So pretty much this is how Rank Math integrates with Divi. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.